What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, I have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So I'm gonna kick it off with an accident to go on over in a Portmore, right? Several persons injured in multiple vehicle accident in Portmore. Several persons were injured in a motor vehicle accident at the Passage Fort Drive and Newland Road intersection in Portmore this evening. A number of persons were reportedly rushed to hospital. So I yesterday this happened my people. The incident which happened at approximately 7.30 p.m. and involved a minibus and at least three motor cars has caused traffic congestion in the area. Emergency service are now on the scene. So people only take time and drive. You see me I say? And them time here at night, a rush hour. You see me? A lot of vehicles up on the road. And when you go through any intersection, make sure you stop first before you go through the intersection. You see me? Me sure say you go see a stop sign or a stop light. Stop before you proceed. And if you see a vehicle at the intersection before you, give the vehicle the right away. After the vehicle drive, then you after. See? So let me know what you think in the comment section, people. And I'm going to go an update of a car in. We're going in a Kingston, downtown Kingston, Princess Street to be exact. Right? Business owners, SHOT, and them drop out in morning attack. Vendors and shoppers. Were sent scampering yesterday as a GUN man spray bullets into the bodies of two men along Princess Street in downtown Kingston. The incident caused market vendors and wholesalers, wholesale owners who operated in the vicinity to discontinue their operation for the day. According to police reports, about 11 a.m., 41-year-old Everett Kilikili Scott and 55-year-old Roland Grabberman Hilton were in their business place when they were in a dispute with a man. Shortly after the dispute was quelled, another man entered the business place. Everett and Hilton allegedly accosted the individual with cotton weapons and the individual opened fire, hitting both men. The gunman escaped. So, them in a vibes with the next man. I don't know if I come this man I come to find out what go on, but them rush him with knife and sitting. And him have a machine pan him, him pop it off and calm them up. See? While one vendor was saddened by Hilton's death, the incident hampered his business. I came out from early this morning because although some Monday slow to the start good, I sold some goods, but I still have a lot more things here to sell. He said, the police won't be done here until late evening. And to relocate somewhere else now is hustling. I just call my driver to take me home. It could be best it could be the best choice with what happened because for the rest of the day people will have to be on their guard. As she hurriedly packed away her market produce, another vendor said she too was calling it a day. It no make no sense because the crime scene no clear up for now, not clear up for now. And people can't pass the tape. All of this just shake up everybody. So me just a go in and come back tomorrow depending on how today look. She said a woman who reside within walking distance from where the incident occurred said she is tired of the constant flare up of violence. Me tired of this. West Kingston gone to the dog. Every day something else. And it look like when them done with West, nobody now go live down here. One thing me know is that I want it stop. So anyone interfere with me and me know how a straight at the station me ago, she said. So just leave your comment in the comment section, my people, and we are gonna move on to an update and a situation we go on last night, you see me, in a St. James, one place named Um Salt Spring. It happened in the vicinity of Salt Spring and Flower Hill, right? Nine-year-old boys, SHOT, and them drop out my people. The father of one of the two nine-year-old boys who were SHOT and KILL by GUN men 
while traveling in a taxi from school yesterday in St. James, said he saw the bullet riddle car pass him and he started having belly pains. I just knew my son had been SHOT, said the father of Justin Perry, a student of Chetwood Primary School, Justin's schoolmate, Natural Life Smith, and a man who up to press time remained unidentified was also KILL. The incident occurred in Flower Hill about 6 p.m. The father said that there were omens of tragedy up to Monday. He said that his soul had been scratching him for days, something in Jamaican folklore that signifies death. He also said he dreamt that a bar had been shot up by gunmen. There is a reported gang feud wreaking havoc in the Flower Hill and Salt Spring areas. Justin's father said that his son mother feared that the youngster might get caught up in it, so she warned his driver not to venture beyond their home. My son's mother warned the driver not to take him up the road because we are up there, Justin's father told reporters. Justin resided at Repasture and Natural Life live at Bucktoe Lane in Salt Spring community. Reports are that they were traveling in the back of the vehicle on their way home when the driver picked up a male passenger who seemed to have been the attacker's target. The gunman fired SHOTS into the car hitting the male passenger several times. He died on the spot. The boys were pronounced dead at the Cornwall, Regi Cornwall Regional Hospital. Justin was a brilliant student who gave no trouble, good behaving boy and a student deep inside everything inside me is gone, said the teary-eyed father. According to him, the driver has been transporting his son for the last four years. He is known to transport school children in the community and private charter. The killings followed four DEATH in the last two weeks in the area. The police believe the deaths are gang related. Jano Star, R.I.P. to them two youth there, eh? and condolences to the family. I don't know what the man do if he get caught up and drop out. You see me? So we are going to move on to Clarendon and our people. Clarendon man fatally SHOT while on utility pole. The police have confirmed that Kevin Coogan Mitchell was SHOT DEAD in Lionel Town, Clarendon, while making an illegal connection on a utility pole on Sunday. Our news team understands that the 34 year old was allegedly a notorious gangster and has been on police radar for some time. They theorize he was cut down by his criminal rival. The police say Mitchell was a top brass member of a gang which has played an integral role in the upsurge of crime and gang violence in the town and its environs. He was also the target of several police intelligence led for his alleged involvement in gang and other criminal activities. <coughs> and being in possession of prohibited weapons. It is reported that the deceased was SHOT several times in the upper body and head while on the utility pole. He was taken to hospital by the police where he was pronounced. So guys, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And here we go on people. Like up the video. Please and thanks. Like up the video people. So bless up on yourself. That's all I have to share with you guys in our morning. Yeah? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. You know what I mean? Do the right thing. So bless up on yourself people.